Alright, good evening everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Danger Zone Reviews. I'm Devin Dunnigan and today I'm back with another DVD review. So this is going to be very similar to the review I did of the Molly Hatchet DVD a while back. So today I'm going to be reviewing 2005's Rock the Nation Live Kiss. So this was recorded on the Rock the Nation Tour in 2004. But this is just a really good DVD. I mean, it's got a good set list, a good balance of all the eras. Makeup, non-makeup, the 90s, the 80s, the 70s. I mean, really, really cool stuff. It's got some really cool special features on here. I mean, you've got the Kiss Vision thing, which you can do that during the show, but it, I guess it counts as a special feature, technically. But you can... When you're watching the show, you can choose which angle you want to see, like the Gene angle or the Eric angle, whatever. And you've got a documentary on here as well. There's footage on here from the Australian leg of the tour very early on. And it's a song and then like backstage footage where they're warming up and rehearsing. It's really, really interesting stuff. And I, I just really think they were firing on all cylinders here. And just the timing of me doing this video, I mean, they're supposed to do a second one of these right here off the soundboard. So it's actually going to be uh, one of the shows they recorded on this DVD. But, I mean, this is just a really, really good DVD. I mean, it's, it's well made. I mean, you, as you can see here, that's the inside of it. Kind of this digipack style. Thing. It's really, really cool. I really, really like the packaging. It also comes with a booklet here. And I'm never, probably even never looked at this. It's kind of like a replica of the tour book, as you can see here. Kind of. That's pretty cool. It's a really good shot of Gene, actually. Right there. It's really cool. But. I misremembered this video a lot. I thought it was like the symphony concert, which is kind of, as a DVD, the editing is a piece of crap on it. I mean, it's like so lightning fast with the, with the shots and editing between the shots. I mean, it, it's a very horrible put-together DVD. Now, the album and the music itself is actually really good, and I'll do a review on that at some point. But, I mean, it this is much better I think this catches the band probably in the, the modern era at their peak I mean this is the band you can tell they're really having fun the whole makeup aspect really does not bother me it's been so long who cares who gives a crap as long as the music's good I'll just kinda go through the set list here I mean you've got Love Gun, Deuce, Making Love Lick It Up, Christine 16, She, Tears Are Falling, Got to Choose, I Love It Loud, Love Her All I Can, which that was awesome live. I wish they would put that in the set list now or something. I mean, it was something different. Really, 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 really cool. And then I Want You, Parasite, and then swaps over to disc two. You've got War Machine, 100,000 Years, Unholy. Shout it out loud, I was made for loving you, Detroit Rock City, God gave rock and roll to you, and rock and roll all night. I mean, it's performances with, like, little documentation in between. You've got, like, the dressing room. It's them basically back there fooling around in the dressing room, joking and just playing around. And you've got the photo shoots for, like, the tour book and stuff and, like, promotional photos. And then you've got meet and greets, which is them with fans, of course. Sound checks, which is the most interesting part, because they're jamming on stuff like All the Way and stuff from The Elder and everything. I mean, it's really, really cool to see them out there doing that. And they did play, I believe, some stuff from The Elder on, like, the Australian and maybe Japanese leg of this tour. And it was really, really cool. I think there's a video on YouTube of that, actually. And, I mean... All the way was left off of this. It did appear on this bonus CD that was released, I believe, in Japan. It was All the Way, King of the Nighttime World, and Psycho Circus, which we're about to get Psycho Circus on this upcoming off the soundboard release. 
But yeah, really, really cool stuff. And then you've got the theater shows, which was an, kind of like an Australian leg of the tour documentary, which was really, really cool. They were up there jamming. They did Going Blind, which was really cool. That's a that's an actual special feature kind of bonus thing is them playing Going Blind and then them jamming on I Pledge Allegiance to the State of Rock and Roll from Psycho Circus. And then you've got On the Road, which is just kind of like them going out and showing them kind of a day in a life of Kiss before the show. It's, it's really, like I said, this is a really well done DVD. I wish they wouldn't have stopped here. I wish they would have went on. I mean, I they did do the Kissology, so I guess that kind of counts. But, I mean, really, really cool stuff here. Really, really cool stuff. A good very solid DVD set, much better than the Symphony show, and I'll have to check that one out and maybe review it in the future, but I've watched it once before, I think the best thing about it was the actual documentary, and I'm looking at it right now, that's what I keep looking up at is the documentary, I mean the Symphony show, I've got it on a shelf, all of my kids stuff together there, but yeah, really, really cool stuff, really, really cool stuff. And I definitely recommend, if you can get a hold of this for a good price, pick this up. Rock the Nation Live 2005. And that's all i got to say here. Definitely pick this up. I give this probably a 10 out of 10 as far as a DVD set goes. Really, really cool stuff. So, Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will be back with another video very, very soon. So, see you next time.